presumably Turkey's not going to be happy about this. Uh, have we had any reaction yet from Turkish authorities? Uh, no official reaction yet from the Turkish Foreign Ministry, but this move is likely to affect thousands of people, not just Turkish tourists who want to go to the United States, but other expats who live here, and also Iranians as well, who have to fly via Turkey to the United States because there's no uh, U.S. diplomatic representation in their own country. Now, this particular case, um, although there's no reaction at the moment from the Turkish authorities, they have spoken about this investigation a few days ago when uh, they were speaking about one particular man who's been officially named as Metin Topaz, a, a local employee at the uh, U.S. consulate in Istanbul. And the presidential spokesman, Ibrahim Kalin, he gave an interview on uh, national television in which he said the reason why this man had been formally arrested at this stage was because there was some evidence which, uh, with some concrete evidence which needed proper investigation into him. And he, he mentioned one aspect in particular, one particular allegation in which he said this man is accused of having a conversation, telephone conversation, with another man called Adil Erksas. Adil Erksas is the number two suspect in the failed coup attempt of July the 15th last year. And this telephone conversation is alleged to have taken place just a couple of days after that uh, failed coup attempt last year. And at the time, Turkish authorities were also keen to point out this man uh, is not is a local employee at the the consulate. He's not actually part of the diplomatic staff there. So, as such, he doesn't qualify for diplomatic immunity. Okay. Many thanks for that, Andrew Hopkins, our correspondent there in Ankara.